chicks on there and a little devil's tail I'm guessing that's uh, kind of representing the two uh, owners their friends all right so I'm gonna review this it says it's not the hottest but it's packed with flavor share it with friends on Facebook like our page for more chances and giveaways so I will be dropping a link down here in the description check them out uh, and I'll be sharing this uh, video out on several of my Facebook hot sauce groups Guys, check this out. Man, there's a lot going on in there. Lots of ingredients. It looks amazing. I uh, just actually messaged her and said I was going to get it done by the end of this weekend and get this review done and send her a link. And I thought, yeah, why not just do it right now? So it's a uh, Thursday night. All right, I'm going to give you the uh, lowdown here. Created by two friends, Lori and Denise. From Webster, New York. Oh, Lordy. Everything sauce is like no other. It's out of this world experience for your taste buds. Great for dipping, marinating, slathering on eggs, burgers, hot dogs, wings, pork, chicken, beef, seafood, tacos, nachos, and so much more. It complements everything. All right. Ingredients, quite long. Honey, ketchup, tomato, concentrate. You know, that's, that's the ketchup ingredients. Uh... Onions, water, apple cider, vinegar, unsalted butter, which is pasteurized cream, natural flavoring. It's got Worcestershire sauce in it. Uh, let's see. Molasses, sugar, water, onions, anchovies, garlic cloves, tamarind extract, natural flavors, chili pepper extract, jalapeno peppers, lemon juice, habanana peppers, horseradish, mustard, spices, contains milk, and fish. Obviously, the anchovies in the Worcestershire. No artificial colors, preservatives, or thickeners. All right, guys. Enough talking. Let's get into this stuff here. So I, what I'm going to do, a pop. I'm going to take a little sniff, a little taste off a spoon. Then I'm going to stop the video, wait till in the morning, and throw it on some food. I might do like a little quick breakfast thing on some eggs or something and then do like a little lunch thing on a piece of chicken or something and kind of give it the full spectrum on food and that way I can uh, slap it all in a video and give it an actual full review alright I can smell it already guys look at that stuff I'm going to uh, see what I can smell here Almost has a ketchup and mustard smell. 
a lot going on here. I, at first, I, I was like, smells like ketchup. Then I'm like, get a hint of mustard. Get a hint of Worcestershire. <laughs> so it's a packed sauce, guys. And I'm not a mustard fan. I despise mustard. I will not put mustard on anything. So if I like it, hey, if you like mustard, you'll probably love it. Because I am not a mustard fan. All right, guys, enough yakking. I don't want to make this video too horrendously long. I mean, there is, it's semi-thick, lots of chunks, and, I mean, there is enough seasonings in there to sink a battleship, guys. All right. It smells like a... So, uh, it smells great. All right, guys, let's try it. Tangy. I was gonna say tangy, a little shot of vinegar, but I don't know if it's a shot of vinegar. It almost tastes like a shot of sweet and sour. Lots of spice. Tastes like, like some black pepper. Get a hint of sweet and sour. It's almost like a sweet and sour ketchup on steroids. I like it. All right, guys. Got a fantastic taste just off a spoon. I cannot wait to try this on uh, some eggs or something in the morning. Probably, I got some leftover. Uh, I made a spatchcock chicken. I love that. You ever heard of that spatchcock chicken? I just love saying it. I'm going to try this on some of that tomorrow. Heat-wise, this is the, it's, it's an on fire level. And she told me it's, uh, it's not the hottest, but it's packed with flavor. I'm getting a zing to it. It's, it's got, you can taste some, for a non-chili head, you'll be fine. You could have fun with this. Not going to hurt you at all. After what I just ate off a spoon, I'm at like a .5. So yeah, it's not going to burn your face off. It does have a little spice. Guys, this is really good. It's packed with a lot of stuff in there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and end this for now. Obviously, it's going to jump right into tomorrow, but uh, we're going to get this on some food. Guys, oh man, it's going to be a great marinade. I can see throwing this on some chicken. So uh, check it out. Stay tuned. Watch the whole video and check the links out below. I like it, guys. That's good. Oh, lordy. Out of New York. All right, guys. Be right back. Fellas, we're back. Miss breakfast. I'll do that one next. Got some wings here. Everything sauce. So we're going to, uh, got the sauce. I did warm it up. I had it in the fridge overnight uh, since I tried it. I tried it late last night. So I don't know if I should, I'll coat a couple, dip a couple. This sauce, I've tasted it a couple more times. What it reminds me of is it's it's like one of those sauces where somebody's like, let's throw everything but the kitchen sink in here. And then maybe we'll throw the kitchen sink in later. And hopefully it tastes good. You know what, though? The funny thing is, they actually pulled it off. It's pretty good. It's kind of got like every table item you could think of in it. So far, I'm thinking that's great on wings. Um, so it's got honey in it, Worcestershire, mustard, ketchup. I think I already said honey. Uh, yeah, it's got like everything in it. 
even on a bottle it says everything sauce, right? It's got a very unique flavor. And it should have. With all the ingredients that's in it, I can't see anything else tasting like this. Alright, we're going to dip. These are uh, Melinda's ghost pepper. Or, uh, ghost pepper wing sauce is what I put on these wings. Guys, I mean, look at the bottom of that cup. This thing is overloaded with flavor. The overall, it's it's just so unique, it's hard for me to explain. It's like a, I get a sour and a sweet at the same time. Then you get a slight little hit of heat on the outside. But when you're eating it, you get so much of that, the spices and everything in it kind of hits you at little different peaks and levels. Alright, so uh, I'm going to do some eggs next. On the wings. How does it go on wings? On a scale from 1 to 10. 10 being amazing, 1 being this just don't fit. I'd put it right at a 9. It goes great on wings. Doesn't have any weird profiles that like offset the chicken. I think this would be another great one for pork. I'm not even ruling it out as a steak sauce, guys. Hey man. Alright, let's try something new. Let's let's try eggs next. She uh sent me a message today asking if I tried it yet. I think she's a little nervous. She was kind of uh, nervous about when she first sent it, like trying to tell me, oh, it's not really that hot. Uh, I told her not to worry. I review everything from hot to mild. <laughs> it's pretty good, guys. I mean, like I said, it's uh, it's uh, everything but the kitchen sink sauce. And they actually made it work. I like it. Alright, so this first time we had uh, warm wings and warm sauce. This time we're going to try refrigerated sauce on some cold eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Alright, yeah. We got a little generous helping on them there. Alright, fellas. So. So far, I liked it, guys. If you're looking for an interesting sauce, with a unique flavor, try out this company's sauces, guys. Now, this one's their uh, spicy one, the Have Mercy. And like I said, it's it's not really spicy. Not I mean, it's, it's not hot. Spicy, but not hot. Um, if you're just look, if you're if you're the guy that looks for uh, something new to try, this is one for you. <laughs> this is really good. Uh, tangy, mustardy, ketchupy, sweetness of the honey. It's it's just there's so much going on in here. It's hard to explain. the eyes it slid right off it's good guys I made a quarter of that jar already 
Check the links out. Give it a shot, guys. This is good stuff. Nachos, tacos, seafood. Hey, I'm going to try it on all of them. Oh, lordies. So, uh, if you stop over there, make sure you tell them, Denise and Lori, that uh, Catfish Redneck sent you. Everything will be in the uh, description down here. The Facebook links, the website links, everywhere you can find this stuff. Once again, in, in, in the conclusion of this, it's uh, and everything with the kitchen sink sauce, that actually works pretty good. It tastes good. I like it. There is so much in here. I'm going to have to end up ordering some uh, a couple more of their products just to try them out, guys. I like it, man. I'm even going to lift the plate. All right, folks. This ends this review. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all go down and check out the description and check out these products. And uh, give these gals a uh, little bigger business. Hey, small companies these days, they can use every bit of uh, support we can give them. It's your channel, guys. Let me know what you want to see. I got some new hot sauces. I found Old Bay, so we're going to try that soon. See y'all later. Catfish Redneck signing out. Hope y'all have a good day. Peace.